Well, as I said, and I promised uh, we were going to have Real Estate Steve back on here for the uh, next show. And uh, we've got, uh, he's been so kind to come back and join us. And uh, as you've heard part of this story already, uh, in less than a year of him coming into my world and being a student of mine, he's already amassed uh, over a $4 million real estate portfolio. Uh, he's cashed out $1,100,000 uh, in cash in less than a year. And so uh, we are so glad to have real estate Steve back with us. So Steve, welcome back to the show. So um, right now the portfolio is hovering around 3 million. But we do have 1.2 million in pending that's on the boards. Um, we borrowed over a half million dollars from private lenders. Um, if you like to count the sellers that have taken back mortgages or second mortgages on some of these, uh, it'd be into the millions. That's true too. Um, I even have private lenders that call and ask to give money at this point. Um, it's because of Jay's system and because of the uh, done for you, you know, what to say language that's in there that we were able to accomplish such things. All I did was flat my list, my lips. And um, Jay taught me how to make everybody want to give me money. It's true. But they make, you have to understand, like they make small fortunes off of you. Like they're not going to get that comforting returns in the stock market. They're not going to see it anywhere else where you have assets that are backed, you know, by low loan to value mortgages and notes. So it's a no brainer for people to want to do it, especially if they have IRA or, uh, you know, to get all this to go tax free too. So now when it comes to locating deals, I want to talk about that as well. Mm -hmm. So about how many deals would you say you're now averaging, you know, in your business, say per month? Per month? Um, probably between two and three. Um, you know, I, I want to get triple the size of that, but um it's, it's to the point where we have two virtual assistants that I train personally. We have a machine that's built to find these things. Um, so the machine actually, while well, me and you were talking, is, is running in the background. Um, it doesn't really involve too much of my time anymore because I built it. Um, if you can picture this, it's a huge funnel that comes up. And like All I have to do is pay to feed the funnel. And the bills process, process themselves. And then on the other end of it, you just have to be able to catch them out when they come out. Um, All right, so let's uh, let's drill down on that because I know our viewers and listeners want to hear some specifics on how it is that you are locating uh, the kind of deals you know sure. that you can do. Mm -hmm. So you say you've got the funnel built. So what are the different uh, ways that you're attracting motivated sellers and the kinds of deals you're locating? Um, so all the marketing tactics are pretty universal with investing, but the key to it is you want to get them all turned on at the same time, right? Um, and all it is is money. So um, my favorites are we, we do old school and we do new school. So I have vanity numbered bandit signs. I put a few hundred of them out in the community. Um, those are 60 days, 90 days to come into effect usually when you hang them. Um, so those are full price for your house, 814. 303 cash so that way when they drive by there's no turning around to see like hey what was that number again well no it's a vanity number and you, you know when they're talking eating dinner at night they can remember that number you know so if granny's got a problem or uncle joey's aunt's sister's got an issue 303 cash gets it right um the thing with band go ahead so your bandit sign one more time says full price for your house Yep. And, and then your contact number, right? Yep. Vanity, yep. 8814 303 cash. The vanity numbers will run you about 500 bucks. Um, you know, I think we've gotten a few hundred calls on those alone this year. Just that right. one source. Right. Uh, it's unbelievable how well those work. Um, you know, we do, we are old school. I do put them on telephone poles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you right. know? Um, but right. you have to be willing to do what nobody else is willing to do to get results that nobody else is going to get. So I'm willing to do the work. Um, that that that's you know uh, what was taught by the gurus, but there's simpler methods than that. I think that there, we have um, other old school methods. We have car wraps. It's a different vanity number. That one I think is eight one four eight one three cash. 
because we mm -hmm. want to be able to track all this stuff to see who calls. Right. So, um, other now, than let, me that, stop, let me stop you for a second. So when someone responds to your signage that says mm -hmm. full price for your house, mm -hmm. and they call up and they say, hey, I saw a sign that says you'll give me full retail price for my house. How mm -hmm. do you deal with that? Awesome. I say, great. That's great. Hey, we appreciate you. You always want to thank them for calling. So the first thing is, we appreciate you. Thank you for calling in. Tell me a little bit about what you have going on, right? Because it's not the house that you want to target. It's the pain point. So right. like you have to find out why it is that that house is a pain to them. Is that, let's face right. it, if they called on your sign, you know, they aren't going retail or they have questions. There's, there's something going on there. It could be a family issue, them wanting to move out of the area, they're over leveraged. Um, you, you know, you have to figure out how to fix and help them to what it is, why they're calling you in order to get the deal. The house is just the media and the vehicle. Right? Mm -hmm. So as soon as you right. can find out that and help them, you get the house. Yeah. 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 So what? Right. I, so the point I wanted to make for our viewers and listeners is that full price does not indicate full retail price. It means the full price is too far as far as what you can invest in it, right? Right. It's whatever you want it to be. You know, if our formula isn't the national formula, um, you know, it's the 70% of the auto minus repairs, the expensive mm -hmm. house, you know, you can hedge up to 80% on it. But um, you have to stick to the formula. Otherwise, you're going to take a lesson in the school hard knocks. Exactly. So let's repeat that formula to our viewers and listeners. So when you're paying all cash, or using private money to fund a deal, the formula that you're using as your maximum allowable offer is the after repaired value times what percentage? 70. Times 70% less. Repairs. Repairs, and that's gonna equal the uh, maximum allowable right. offer. And typically we don't even offer the uh, maximum allowable offer, do we? No, no, I, I, I mean, I prefer to see them on terms. If um if and and if I can get terms from the seller, um but if we have to pay all cash, that's fine too. It's just you know they have to understand that you know if they didn't use us, you know we're a bird in the hand, not a bird in the sky. So mm -hmm. you want to go you want to go hunting and find somebody else that's going to give you more. This formula is pretty much a national investor formula. Anybody that knows what they're doing is going to use it. If they don't. They've taken lessons in the school hard knocks. Um, and how long do you think they're going to be around for? So that being said, the only person that can beat us is an owner and occupant. Self, and if they can't pay all cash, uh, what kind of a bank and what kind of a loan to value is going to actually give them money to lend, pay the seller? Right, exactly. So back to uh, locating um, discounted houses and finding deals. So old school, you're doing uh, bandit signs, uh, you're wrapping uh, vehicles. Uh, what other ways are your favorite ways of attracting deals? Uh, My favorite? Oh, boy. Uh, this is a writer downer for all the audience. Um, we use Facebook ads, targeted algorithmic campaigns, for rifle marketing Facebook ads. Um, they go into landing and squeeze pages where we capture name numbers and emails, and we can target the person um, that has that problem right online. You can geocode it. You can, I, I use a radius method. So ours is 25 miles around it. Um, and those are all custom built. Uh, when the lead comes in, maybe we can have it, you know, one step further at this point. But for you, I just encourage you to get it built and, and, and call it personally at first. But ours go into another sequential system that moves the information, formats it uh, into a dialer. And the dialer drops voicemail campaigns, text campaigns, and also email campaigns. And so by the time it gets back to me, everything's already done. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh -huh. that, that brings up a good point there, uh, real estate Steve. And that is you got all this, all these systems automated. What do you do in the business? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really enjoy it though, I'll tell you that. Um, I mean, are you are you talking to are you talking to motivated sellers yourself? Are you talking yeah. to sellers yourself? At this point, um, by the time they get to me, I still make the calls. So we don't have an acquisition as, as of yet, but um that's the point where I think we've built to become, which is a kind of a cool point. I never thought I'd get there this quick. Um, 
because quite frankly, I can't manage you like, I guess the biggest takeaway is now that you have it built, all you have to do is feed the funnel. Part of the funnel is actually catching them on the other end. And so that actually becomes a problem, believe it or not, because there's just so many of them. So um, I need somebody else to actually be able to start capturing these. Because I'm getting voicemails that come in that just are, um, hey, I'm just trying to get a hold of somebody. And you can't even, after the, the funnel is supposed to filter everything out, right? Like it does, but you know, it's, there's so many yes leads that are coming in um, to be able to process. You just need somebody else to take it at that point. And that's what, what we've gotten to, but I haven't got the acquisitions quite yet. I got you. I got you. So, so at this point, you're still actually yourself negotiating and yes. talking with mm -hmm. the motivated sellers, right? Yes. Mm hmm Got you, got you. So how about paint a picture for us and our viewers and listeners? What's a, what's your normal day look like? So when you get up in the morning, uh, you get the day going and, I, I, you know, for you to be as successful as you are, I know you're not, you know, running it by the seat of your pants and just from the hip. What's your, what's a normal scheduled day look like, Steve? Um, so I try to get up when it's still dark out. I get up before everybody. Those that waste the morning. Um, aren't going to achieve, you know, true success. Um, you have to do what the other people aren't willing to do. So I usually log on, get emails going. I bring up the systems. I see what appointments were set yesterday for follow-up calls in the systems um, that I should have been making. I also get logged in, catch up emails. I log into all the uh, bank accounts. So the way that we have it set up is uh, everybody that pays us is um, assigned to their own ledger. So like I can track history on who's paid what, who owes what. Um, so I go on and do a general check usually of, of what's going on there to see if we have to you know, chase people at all. Uh, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But um, then, um, you know. Now you, um, are, you meeting, are you meeting with, uh, once you determine it looks like a deal, are you personally meeting with the, um, motivated sellers at their houses? Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Only if it qualifies out. Like I went, I was on two deal meetings this morning um, that the funnel produced. We had, uh, that was on a PM lead. So PM leads, uh, Furbos for rent by owners. Cause I have a multifamily portfolio that I keep too. Um, right. I really like multifamily actually. So um, that was a six unit we went on this morning, seller financing. Um, I think I can get it at nothing down. We've talked about it. Mm -hmm. So 250000 I was in good shape this morning. I met one of the tenants that runs one of the storefronts there and walked it. So that one came through the funnel. Uh, two different ways at me, actually. One from a FISBO, one from a FURBO. So it was two leads coming in at once. I actually had two contacts. So it was like maybe it was meant to be. <laughs> right. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, my land, Steve, I tell you, I can't believe it. We're already almost out of time here for the show, but I got a very, very important question for you uh, before we start to wrap up. And that is, uh, what would you say is the best advice that you can give for a brand new real estate investor that's never done a deal before? A brand new newbie, mm -hmm. what's the advice you would give them? Well, um, I would say, you know, Tony Robbins was the one that got my mind right. Um, in a book called Awakening the Giant within the first 100 pages of it, you know, there's a big difference between a thinking brain and an action brain. Um, you want to take massive determined action. So just instead of worrying about like what's going to happen, just go out and do it. You know, pick up the phone. Don't, don't worry about it. Like, like what you're going to say if you're going to mess it up. Just take the action. The people that we buy houses from have a problem that you're going to solve. You have to like, you know, tell them the world's falling down for them not to sell, them, sell you your house. <laughs> you know, um, Jay can probably concur with that. So it's just getting over the fear of the phone. Um, you know, script everything, even the systems and what to say is scripted. You know, stick to the scripts um, and just take action and you'll be rewarded for your action. Yeah, what you, what you just said, uh, Steve, reminds me, I've got a really, really good friend, uh, Tom Kroll. And uh, I've heard Tom say a number of times, as far as advice goes to not only new people, but seasoned people, take massive, imperfect action. Yes. 
hardly anything we're going to do is perfect anyway. And as you just said, take the action anyway, be, you know, take action on it. So Steve, for people that would like to contact with you or make connection with you, how can people get up with you? Sure, sure. So uh, my email is steve at freedomsky.com. Um, and you can call any one of our numbers. The best one is 814-303-HOME. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how we'll get in touch with it. Uh, any parting comments before we call it a wrap here on the show for our viewers and listeners, Steve? Um, there's certain people in your life that come in, and Jay, you're one of them. You know, you've changed my life, and I hope that means something to you because there hasn't been too many people of your caliber that have resonated and, and changed us like, like you have. Um, you're a true legend and a guru in every sense, and I appreciate you and your value to us. Thank you. Well, thank you, Steve. Thanks again for coming here on the show. And to all of our viewers and listeners, thank you for tuning in. Uh, again, get on over and check out uh, my upcoming live event and uh, get registered to attend at www.jayconner.com forward slash money podcast. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority. And so from now until we're here on the next show, here's to taking your real estate invest, uh, investing business to the next career or to the next level. Bye for now.